Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please take your seats at this time as the program will begin momentarily. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Alex and this is my video diary series of my latest road trip in the autumn of 2023. Planning for the trip was very spontaneous and I only had the plan of going to Romania and maybe even all the way to Greece if I can do it. Um, but everything else took shape as I went along. Whilst the video is mostly for my own memories, if you find it interesting, you are most welcome to join me on this travel. I didn't film all that much at the start, as I was just learning and getting used to this new routine of, uh, of road tripping. Uh, but I do hope the content will be better the further we go uh, in the videos. And even though I was too nervous to talk to the camera uh, during the trip itself, I will be doing voiceovers uh, in the videos. But without further ado, let's get to it. Enjoy! So this trip was definitely the biggest and most spontaneous adventure I've ever done. I received the car I bought, a 2009 Mitsubishi Outlander, just one week before I was to leave my country Finland. So my preparations were very minimal. I did try to remove the back seats of the car and I would have slept on the floor. But due to some wiring uh, in the seats I had to make a separate bed. But it actually worked really well, because then I had a large storage area under the bed, which I wouldn't have had otherwise. And here we are in the beginning of the trip in Helsinki Harbour. I'm actually feeling rather calm and confident, even though I have a lot of questions. But it feels good to know that at any point I can just stop the trip, turn back and go back home if I don't like it. So it's not like I have any commitments or set schedules on this trip. But let's just start the ride to the wild camp and I will talk more later. I'm in Sigulda, Latvia, in the Gauja National Park. It's the biggest national park in the country, spanning over 900 square kilometers. They are known for their sandstone, rocks and cliffs, castles, forts, churches and more. 
I was only passing through and came for the free camping, since it's legal to wild camp in the Baltics. But I will certainly be going back for a week long stay uh, in the park one day. It seemed like you could do just about any activity there. For me, that activity was a cable car ride across the valley. Good morning! First things first, I'm trying to set up the dashcam a bit better and at the same time you can see a bit of my driving setup here. The dashcam has this automatic feature that if you touch it or it feels that uh, the car gets bumped or you even just close a door very hard, it will start recording automatically. So I have all these random clips um, from me touching the dash cam. I was nervous about passing through a big city like Riga, but it ended up being a very chill experience. The roads were very straight and clear, and while it took some time with all the traffic lights, it was a fun and little different experience from my usual countryside views. I have been through here before, uh, in the bus, in the middle of the night. But now I could see the beautiful city alive, and that was nice. Here I'm just internally screaming, motorbikes! I really want to be part of that motorbike squad. Maybe next time. I'm about to arrive at a national park camping by the Latvian and Lithuanian border by the sea. Tomorrow, that is, in the next episode, we will explore at least Lithuania and Poland, maybe even more. Thanks for watching and until then, bye!